Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today I'm going to talk about proper folder structure. Let's get started, shall we? So normally when you have a project, you want to contain all your project files in one folder. So here I've created a folder called Project Folder Structure. And in here, I'm going to demonstrate what an ideal folder structure should be. Because when you're dealing with projects that have a lot of files, it's a good idea to have everything contained in a nice structured environment. So here in this project folder, you can see I have an index.html file. Now that is the first page that a web page will open when you try to access a URL. So let's say I'm going to a website um, and I go to that particular domain. When I reach that domain, unless I put an exact file name such as maybe about.html, if I just put in the domain name like let's say www.google.com or whatever it may be, then the browser is automatically looking for this file called lowercase index.html. So this is going to be my home page. And here I also have an about page. Now you can see I have a fall image here, just fall.jpg. And then I have a couple of folders on the side here. So the way you want to structure your project folder is you want all your folder names to be in lowercase and you want there to be a separate folder for all the different kinds of files. So I would have a CSS folder, as you can see here, which would have a styles.css style sheet. Now we haven't gotten into that yet. I'm going to be getting into that in the next few weeks. So stay tuned. We'll be talking a little bit about CSS style sheets very soon. Now, I also have this IMG folder, which currently has nothing nested inside of it. Now, what is this IMG folder for? Well, ideally, you want to contain all of your images in a separate folder. Now, some developers like to call it images, I-M-A-G-E-S. Most developers, however, like to keep it as short and simple as possible and use IMG as the folder name. Now you can also see I have this JS folder, which has an interesting file inside of it called main.js. Well, this main.js file is actually a JavaScript file and you can see the .js extension. Now we haven't learned JavaScript yet. I do have another series on JavaScript. It's a beginner series called JavaScript Tutorial for Beginners. So feel free to check that out if you'd like. Let's open this file, the index.html in the web browser and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's this index.html file opened in the web browser. Now you can see it's on my desktop and the file is called something interesting. The URL points to project percent 20 folder percent 20 structure. And that's because I named this folder with spaces inside of it. And you can see here on my desktop, I've called it project folder structure. So the way the browser displays a space is with your percent 20. So it's not good practice to have this with capital letters. Ideally, we would call it project folder structure, or you can put hyphens in between the words, which is usually what I like to do, project dash folder dash structure. And here you can see it looks a lot cleaner. It has the word desktop in the URL forward slash project dash folder dash structure forward slash index.html. All right, perfect. So that's one thing I wanted to clean up. Now note this image is showing up because it's right next to my index.html page. So if I open this up in Visual Studio Code, we can see that we've targeted this image with the source value of fall.jpg. Now, since I want to move fall into IMG folder, let's see what happens when I do that. So I'm going to take fall, this fall.jpg, and drag it into my IMG folder, like so. Now we can see, all we're seeing is the word seasons, which is our alt tag for our image. So now we're going to have to change the relative file pathing for this image. So once again, let's go into VS Code and do that. And the reason it can't find this image is because it's looking for the image next to this index.html file, but it's not in there. It's actually sitting inside this IMG folder. So now we need to change the source equal to IMG forward slash, meaning enter that folder and look for the fall.jpg image. And here you can see the image shows up perfectly and we've targeted it perfectly. 
So once again, a few things to keep in mind. When you're creating folders, keep everything in lowercase letters. If you have multiple words, use dashes or hyphens in between the words if needed. You should always have your images in a separate images or IMG folder and any style sheets in a CSS folder and any JavaScript files in the JS folder. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this short video on folder structure. If you're enjoying these videos, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with new videos as I release them every week. Until next week, keep on coding.